Yo, it's guys, your boy Killer here, and today I'm going to be doing some more Black Ops 3 Emblem Creator, and, uh, yeah. You see, I'm just going to really st start off, like, pretty quick. It's fairly simple. I'm going to be making the Juggernaug Soda Emblem today. This should be pretty fun. So, what I did from last time, I actually copied the Speed Cola Emblem, uh, just so I got it as a template, and I renamed it as Juggernaug Soda. And, yeah, then we're just going to basically go to the end and delete the layers, which I don't need. So, I need soda. I need to have soda. Actually, let's go to the start. Start deleting things we don't need. So, we don't need any of the hand stuff. Speed, cola, soda. We need the soda part. We can remove that. We just need to have two rings, just like that. So, that's perfect. And we already have the square. So, first thing we're going to do is change the color of this, um, this ring here. I sort of want to have it, uh, I think, sort of like a red. But that looks a bit too much. I'm just going to lower down the... The, um, the red color to, I'd say, like, 80. Change it to 80 if you guys want to, you know, do your own, you know, remake this yourself. Just drop that down to 80. It's roughly, like, a really high, like, peachy color like that. So I'd recommend using that one. Then, oh, no, no, we want to we wanna keep it by there. We don't want to move around. And these ones, you can actually just sort of scale up a bit because there's now one more, you know, there's one less ring in effect, so. Like that, make sure they completely cross. Uh, yeah, make sure it's left and right are aligned reasonably well. Yeah, it looks good. So, then for this one, you're going to change the color again to this sort of, you know, deep dark red. Change this down to 80, I'd say. I think we said 80. I'm pretty sure we said 80. So, we're going to use 80. Do the same for here nice and easy really so far we're just using what we did last time if you didn't check that out make sure to look at my channel so you can see it now what we're gonna do is we are gonna make the little um, plus sign I know there's a plus tool however it isn't quite thick enough for the um for the plus in the logo I think if you guys want to use that then by all means use it it's you know pretty decent that you want to make it mm, a nice little cross I want to shorten it down a little bit a bit wider just like that I think that looks pretty good let's, let's do that that looks awesome that looks pretty awesome I think oh I think I pushed a button either way I think we're all good I might just shrink these just a little bit so it's not too too thick Yeah, my phone's making noises. But hey, we got that. And bang, there's a, that's a nice, I think that's a nice plus symbol right there in the center, and that is 90 degrees, now it's obviously zero. So, then we're gonna go on to starting to make the bullet for this thing. And it's pretty simple, really. It looks a bit more hard than it actually is. So what I'm gonna get is the monolith tool. And then I'm just gonna like make it, say, a, a blue color so it stands out quite easily. You're going to want to turn it just like this, that the thicker part is on the top. And then, just want to make it a bit thinner, and uh, just try and shape it, just kind of like how mine is. Like this. And, uh, a bit shorter, to make it a bit thicker again. A bit thinner, even. And do it sort of 45 degrees. Just like that. So, I think that looks, that looks reasonably decent, I think. And then we're going to copy that. And rotate it 180 degrees the other way. Too hard. Do that. Shorten it a bit. And, uh, yeah. Then you got that top part of the bullet right by there. Which turns out pretty well there. Because, um, I actually have the, um, the coaster which has the logo on it. And that's the way it looks like that. It's bigger where, they two, where the two joins. Then what we're going to do... Because we want to have it nice and curved on the end, we can actually grab, I think I used the half tube. And let's do the same color just to match it. I think that's the same color. Hopefully it was the same color. And we're just going to pop it right at the top. Just like that. Put it there and then we're just going to widen it so that it fits. Uh, like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good, I think. Make sure it fits there like that. Okay, awesome. So... This is effectively then 
the base part. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy all of these layers across so that the bottom one is then going to be the like sort of like peach color thing. I don't know. It's sort of like the creamy color. Um, and it's going to be the base. And then what we're going to want to do with this is we're just gonna we're just gonna make it a bit, you know, we're just gonna make it a bit bigger. And you want to have on well for this bottom part, you want to have like a nice little um gap between the blue and the end of the the creamy color uh, for a reason, which I'll show you in a minute or two. And then this end part as well, you just want to widen it out, sort of just like that. Booze. That you can make this part a bit thinner if you if you really want to. And then you can make that wider again. And yeah, you sort of got a bully. You can make it a bit pointier if you want to. Maybe it might a bit too thick, but that's fine. Then again, we're going to go back and just change up this color real quick. So it matches with the rest. Rest of the red. The, the logo. Easy, just like this. And let me know, guys, if you want me to keep the commentary and be talking over the top of how I do everything as opposed to me just, you know, speed, you know, putting some music behind it and making it sort of like a speed art. I don't really mind how I do it, just as long as whichever one you guys want to see. So then what you're going to do then, you're going to have to make this part kind of thin and kind of short so that it'll fit by there and it'll look uh, pretty, pretty good. It'll fit in kind of well. Just like that. Actually looks good, maybe a bit shorter. And there, bang, that's... That's the majority of the bullet done. There's only a very little bit left to do, which you can actually then copy that and change it down again to this sort of cream color. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and make it as thin as we can, which there is a limit on this, which is a bit annoying. Just make it a bit longer. Just checking that is. Pretty thin, basically as thin as I can go. And then you're gonna sort of wanna line it up with the left side of the bullet that's so at the top end is just by the by by well, round about by there don't know how else to explain it make it maybe a little bit thicker yeah, that looks good we're gonna duplicate it rotate it just like so and we're gonna shrink it we're gonna shrink it so it's just like a little line at the top here a bit thinner and uh yeah that fits in pretty well by there and that is the bullet done there's just like, obviously, that's just like a little bit of where the shine is from the light, so you can tell it's a you know, real bullet. And yeah, so we got that. All we have left to do now is the words, which will be saying Juggernog, which are pretty easy to do. I'm actually going to start from the E, like the, the, the E in Juggernog, just so I can, you know, start from the middle and go out. It's nice and easy, really. It's not too hard to do this. You just got to make sure the angle's just about right. Try and place it as accurate, you know, as accurate as you think it needs to be. Um, like that. There. And then, if we actually have to change the colour of this, because this is also the, um, the sort of peachy sort of colour. I think. And we're going to have to change this to, ah, uh, this is Jugger Nog. Duplicate that one. Just rotate it a bit and we'll spell out. Uh, the two G's in Juggernog then. No the G's, they're the G's. Looks like I'm gonna write Germany, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm writing Juggernog. Um, then put that back again. Yep, yeah, I think that looks about... Just about good. You wanna try and make sure that it's all like equal angles and equal distance apart. It's a little bit awkward, but... With a little bit of practice and a little bit of time, it shouldn't really be too much to ask, shouldn't be too big of a trouble, yeah, we'll pop that right by there, and then we're going to make this into a J for Jugger, um, pop that right there, I think that looks pretty decent so far, so right now we have Jugger Soda, and we need to add Jugger Nog Soda, so what I can do is I'm actually going to then copy the G, because I know the G ends where the J ends on the other side, I do something like that. That. That looks pretty decent, I think. There. Mm, yeah, I'm happy with that. And then, this has got to be 
an O for Nog. So there's an O in Nog. And that goes just where the bullet is pointing to. Nice little guide there. And then we're going to have N. Right in this gap. Right by there. And then we're finally then going to add a little dash. Um, in between the words. Just a sort of stumpy sort of dash right like that. Use the ch you know, change it to the cream colour again. Or we can keep it white, you know. If you guys want to have a white thing, make sure you, you know, you know, just use whatever colours you want, really. You can edit it up and add a bit of a pattern to it. I'm just showing you guys the most basic, you know, Juggernaut logo, really. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's nearly it. I'm also then going to change the colour of the lettering on the bottom. Which is, uh, not too much trouble. Got to actually get to the layer because I, kept, I copied it over from... The, uh, the previous previous emblem I did. Make sure to check it out on my channel if you haven't already. So everyone seems to like that. I'm really glad. So there we go. We have now made Juggernog Soda in Black Ops 3. See, so it's pretty easy. Pretty easy to do. Uh, hopefully this guide helped you. If you did enjoy, please don't leave a like. Comment down below as always, and subscribe for daily content. I've been your boy Killjoy, and I'm out, guys. Peace. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Alright then. I don't know what the fuck oh just God. happened, but I don't really care. I'ma get the fuck up out of here. Oh,